This is by far the fastest mobile internet solution you're going to find on the market today. Check out that speed. If you need mobile internet for an RV, an off-grid home, a boat, a car, or just want to move away from expensive home broadband service, then look at InstiConnect. The InstiConnect Explorer 5G is an LTE router and Cloudwing MIMO antenna combination that gives you the fastest mobile internet available on the market today. All you need is a SIM card from your cell phone carrier. One of the unique benefits of the InstiConnect is the omnidirectional Cloudwing antenna design that places the modem with the antenna where signal reception is optimal. You'll have less signal loss to your router. It's also a dual SIM modem which allows you to use two different carriers and automatically switch to the secondary if the primary fails. The InstiConnect is not cheap. At $1,000 plus shipping for the standard Explorer 5G with X55 dual SIM modem, it's a big investment. And you'll still need to pay for the monthly cost of your carrier data plans. InstiConnect offers a Verizon Red data plan with 300 gigabytes of premium data for $159 per month, but check out my tip on how you can get that amount of data out of your existing cell phone carrier later in this video. An option you'll want to seriously consider is the X62 modem upgrade for $200. InstiConnect is one of the first to offer the X62, which comes with some impressive advancements over the X55. Even though the X55 allows carrier aggregation where you can combine multiple bands together, it does not allow combining low band and mid band frequencies together at the same time. The X62 does, and that improves both speed and range. I don't plan on upgrading to the X62 from the X55 for my existing modem, but if I was to purchase the InstiConnect new, I'd pay the extra $200 to have it. For most uses, the Cloudwing omnidirectional antenna works best and is much more convenient if you're traveling frequently. It picks up the signal from any direction so you don't have to point it toward a particular cell tower. In fact, you can switch between all available towers easily with the InstiConnect software. However, the optional binoculars directional antenna is useful if you are very far from a cell tower and have slow speeds. The binoculars can hone in on a remote tower at farther distances than the cloud wings. This is especially useful in a busy area when your local tower is overloaded. To get to the InstiConnect menu, just go to my.insti from your browser. This works on any device that's connected to the internal network. So from your computer browser or from your cell phone, you can go to my.insti and access this menu. You'll see here that T-Mobile 5G is my primary SIM. It gives you some information about the connectivity to the tower. It shows that I'm on tower 304. There's also a cell mapper number, 96244. That's the same tower as 304, but you can go to cellmapper.net, look up that tower number, and see other towers in the nearby area on the map. If you click this button, it'll switch over to your secondary SIM. In my case, that's AT&T. And you can check this box if you want it to automatically switch over when the T-Mobile service drops. So it's a good failover option. If you scroll down here, you'll see the InstiConnect menu. The first option allows you to do the tower band lock wizard. And what this lets you do is select different bands and different towers if you don't like the one that you're connected to by default. So you can select these options right here to do a band scan to find out which other bands are available in your nearby area. You can do a much more detailed spectrum scan and it'll find bands that you may not even be able to use, but at least it shows the ones that are there. I generally choose this auto tower selection and what's nice is as you're moving around, you just fire up the InstiConnect. It's going to automatically connect to whatever local tower has the best speed and you don't actually have to come into this menu to set it manually. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the other towers and bands that it has detected and you can click one of these locks next to it to lock to that specific tower. So if you don't like 304, you can lock it to 394 and any of these other towers. Now you'll notice that the top ones are green because the signal connection is pretty good. When you get down to a little bit different number here, you'll see it turns yellow. And if you keep going, it eventually turns red. So generally those are not going to allow you to connect because the distance is too far or the signal just isn't good enough. 
it sorts them by the best one at the top so that's usually the one that's going to give you the best speed but if you happen to be in an area where your tower is busy you can actually connect to a different tower and bypass it to get back to the main menu again just hit this back button right here let's take a look at the current LTE sim profile here you'll see I have a T-Mobile sim card and you just need to make sure that the carrier is set to match whatever SIM card you have installed in that particular SIM slot. Now the magic trick I mentioned earlier is under the Advanced tab. Here there is a TTL value. You just want to make sure that that's set to Linux 265. There's a detailed explanation as to why you need to set this Linux 265 TTL setting, but the short reason is because the carriers don't limit your data. Typically when you get past 22, 23 gigabytes, or maybe 50 gigabytes with T-Mobile, you'll get throttled to a slower speed. Well that doesn't happen when you set this Linux 265 TTL value. So it'll allow you to get several hundred gigabytes of download at full speed. Check it out. Let's go back to the InstaConnect menu. You will need to click on this power button to switch over to your second SIM if you need to set the TTL value for that SIM. They are managed independently of each other. Coming down to the menu here, there is a Insti Secure VPN, as I mentioned earlier. That's an optional choice. If you purchase the support plan, Insti Connect will give you this secure VPN as an option. You can also launch a Wi-Fi wizard to configure your Wi-Fi settings. There's an advanced config, which takes you to the more complex, geeky menu for the router where you can do all kinds of other configuration. The multi-internet integration is a new feature that's just been added to the Instant Connect that allows you to have multiple SIMs and manage the two by having failover and multiple WAN connectivity between those two separate SIMs. So there's some interesting new features available with that. You can also reboot the router from here and you can do software updates. When you click on the software update, it'll automatically look to see if you have the latest firmware and you can follow the instructions there to do the update. If you come into the advanced config, under the overview status, you can actually see what version you have for firmware currently. And if you go to insteconnect.com and look under help knowledge base, scroll down a little bit here, you'll typically see this InstiConnect update, which tells you the newest firmware. So let's talk about speed. That's the most important thing about your router. If you come down here and click on the tower band lock wizard, you can run a speed test directly from the router. So if I click on that, it'll run this simple speed test and come back with the download and upload speed directly from the router. And you can see I'm getting 190 megabit download, 55 megabit upload, pretty good speed. Now you also notice this the bands right here switch between B2 and then B66. And it depends on which bands it detects with the tower. If there are multiple bands, it will actually combine them and give you a much faster speed. Also, this test runs directly from the router. So if you're connected on a computer where you have slow Wi-Fi, or some other interference with the speed of the connection, you're gonna actually get a lower speed from your computer than you're gonna get directly from the router. So use this one if you wanna get an accurate measure from the router itself. If you download the app from speedtest.net, you can actually run the speed check directly from your computer. And you can compare what your computer says from what comes up using this one from the router. If there's a vast difference, then it's probably the Wi-Fi settings that you have on your computer or how you're connecting to your router. Also be aware that these speeds can change dramatically at different times during the day. The knowledge base on the InstiConnect website also provides some good information about how to get the best speed out of your InstiConnect. Some of the tips, Make sure to check that the antenna is in the right location where it's going to get the best signal. Make sure your carrier is not throttling your data plan. Also, make sure you're using the USB cable that comes with the InstiConnect and not a third-party choice. And if you have the VPN turned on, that typically will make things run a little bit slower as well. 
If you've checked all those things and you're still not getting the speed you expect, don't hesitate to contact InstiConnect support directly and they may be able to help you figure out what's going on. The InstiConnect is capable of getting several hundred megabit download speeds, but there's a lot of variables in play to determine how fast of a connection you're going to get. However, from my experience, it is by far the fastest router solution that you can find for mobile internet. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.